Hi guys and welcome. My name is Sim UK and this is my AO2 Tennis Review. AO2 Tennis 2 released today, the 9th of January 2020, and I've been waiting a long time for this. Played the original quite a lot, and if you're a fan of the original, you're probably going to like this, but not necessarily for the reasons you were Ladies hoping. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this first round men's match. Please give it up for the players as they take to the court. The short review is this. AO Tennis 2 is pretty much the same game as AO Tennis was. There are some enhancements in the career area. That's definitely something that I'll discuss in a moment. But for the most part, for the gameplay and for the, the benefits and the good parts and the bad parts of AO Tennis 1 are still here. Very little has changed in terms of core game mechanics. There are a lot of things I was hoping would have improved None of that has really happened. It's a bit of a shame. It's a, it's a little bit sharper. I think the graphics have been tweaked. They look a little bit better. Some of the audio is a bit broken, which is a bit of a shame. But on the most part, it's pretty much the same game as it was before. It hasn't really changed all that much. Now, I left the review on Steam, and the developers have blocked all of my links so uh, any of the gameplay footage that you wanted to see for that, you can find on my Twitch channel or you can find over on Sim UK Let's Play. But they've blocked everything uh, in my review, which I think is pretty harsh, to be honest with you. Because, for one thing, I believe my review to be the most honest out of all the reviews that are available on Steam right now. A lot of the cutscenes have stutters in them. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Maybe it's actually intentional. It's difficult to tell. And... The new career features, the cutscenes, the coach, the press dialogue, it's okay. It certainly isn't spectacular. It's, it's all right, but overall it doesn't feel polished or particularly great. There you are. Have a seat, have a seat. I'm so happy you've turned pro. I knew you had this in you from when you were just a child. We'll catch up from time to time, run through some important decisions and do what we can to get you some titles. And then, who knows? World number one? Have a look through your tablet, as this is where we'll work on things like training, sponsorship decisions, and more. On Steam right now, this game will set you back £35.99. It's £39.99 at full price. I picked this up from CD Keys for 20 quid. There's a link in the description below. Now, for £20, the enhancements that AO2 Tennis has had over its predecessor, I think £20 is a good price to get all the extra career element stuff in there. That's not to say that it's particularly good, but it definitely has enhanced the career aspect of the game, and it's a lot more fun to play with it added. There's a few other little bits in there, injuries, which I'm not convinced really mean anything at the moment. You've got press, you've got your coach, both of which will ask you questions and you get to make decisions and based on how well you play and how you respond to those questions will impact on your player's bio, if you will. And I believe that ultimately impacts on your sponsorship opportunities, etc. So there are enhancements to the game. As far as gameplay goes, they're pretty minimal. There's a few extra little shots in there that I haven't seen before. As I mentioned previously, there, there are the injuries. But overall, it just feels the same. So, if I go into some detail, I mean, I've played the original game quite a lot. You've seen that, and the difficulty level in the game is extreme. In all honesty, the AI don't get that much better, but it just becomes harder to hit the ball cleanly and accurately. That's kind of how the level progression system is. Now, I think there's a couple of extra levels included in AO Tennis 2, but it just feels the same. When you go up to the very, very top level, it's incredibly hard to get decent shots. You can win shots, you can win games, it is possible, but it's really hard. And 99.9% .9 of the time, the points you lose are because you have not hit the ball over the net or inaccurately. And one of the biggest issues I've discovered, and this is a constant irritation, is that changing direction, your player, if you go left and the ball goes right and you try and react to it quickly, you're talking five steps, two or three seconds before you get any kind of movement out of your player. 
they'll take a couple of steps to ground themselves, then they'll stand still, and eventually they'll start moving towards the ball. That is simply not good enough. The speed at which the tennis is played in this game, that is simply not quick enough. And uh, I really think they're going to have to address that. There are janky and missing animations all over the place, and so far I haven't seen a single person diving for a shot. I, I'm pretty sure I saw it in AO Tennis 1, so I kind of feel like it must be there, but there are a load of opportunities where the AI could have dived and got to the ball or lunged and made an effort, but as I say, there are so many gaps in the animation that quite often shots they should get to, they just don't even bother trying to play. Sometimes your player just doesn't hit the ball at all. Quite often they won't play a shot when asked to play a shot. I'm in position and I'm ready to play a shot and I play a shot but nothing happens. That needs to be looked at. And when you're playing a career and you go to training, the player that you're training with doesn't have the same timing limitations that your player does. So as I complained in the first one, it's just going to cause you timing issues in the game. That was one of the key things I hoped they'd fixed and they haven't even bothered looking at it. I'm really disappointed. What a shot. A beauty that one. Too far and few between. Things like being able to bounce the ball. If I just had a button at serve where I could bounce the ball a couple of times, that would be great. Like previous tennis games. I know it's a small thing. It's insignificant, really. But oh, I really, really hope they add something like that. Oh, an amazing shot from her there. No-look, reverse, backhand, bloody hell. Gaza. Son of a bitch, and he's out. Oof. Lucky. Yes, we won a game. Woohoo! In our first tournament, we won a game. At this difficulty level, that's quite an achievement. And if you haven't played the game, you might not appreciate that. The career mode does give you this interactive persona thing, which is kind of cool, I guess. Injuries are in the game, although so far they don't appear to make any difference whatsoever. And there are a few new shot types in there as well. sprained ankle well that's me I've got a sprained ankle I do recommend the game because I like the original I do hope they're going to fix the issues that I've mentioned but I tell you what for $39.99 if you've already got the original I don't recommend this game but if you do have the original or you don't have the original and you can pick it up for 20 quid then it's worth a buy that's pretty much it. That's all I can say, guys. Is AO Tennis 2 any good? Yeah, it is. But it's not as great as it could have been. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Till next time. Goodbye.